Hi y'all, since yesterday I made a video about oregano oil, I wanted to take today and do one about activated charcoal. Um, what I have though, I make a, I have made a book up of the stuff that I use the most and I don't have my activated charcoal in this format obviously and it's not finished because I want to end up eventually making a PDF. But it will tell like the herb name, its Latin name, what plant family it comes from, what parts are used, you know, what it does for you, how to use it, how to make various things with it. Um, you can see they, no you can't see. Um, continued over here, precautions. Anyway, um, so I keep a hard copy of this with me because sometimes when I'm not feeling well, I have to have the written stuff because I forget. When my brain is not clear, I can't remember a lot of these things. But I have had this, um, I have been using activated charcoal for a long time for various different things. Well, we're talking activated charcoal we are not talking the stuff that comes off your barbecue grill, okay? Um, you can get it pretty much anywhere you shop online. The best activated charcoal is actually made from coconut shells. And I'm going to show you what this all looks like here in a little bit. But I wanted to go over some information first that I have had written down here. Um, it stains everything. Which is why we're not touching it yet, because I'm going to have black all over my fingers before this is done. But it does stain things. So make sure you're using something underneath it when you go to use this product, because it does stain. What it does is it traps toxins and chemicals in the body. And then helps your body flush them out so that your body can't reabsorb them. Uh, it's used for poisonings, accidental, drug overdoses, whether accidental or on purpose. This stuff has been around since ancient Egypt and um, has been used throughout the ages. Even in World War One, yeah, World War One, it was put inside gas masks because it would counteract the poisonous gas that was, you know, set off against our soldiers. But it does a lot of other things, too. It reduces bloating, gas, cholesterol. It's safe to use during pregnancy, by the way. This is not a toxic substance. As with all things, you know, investigate yourself, because this is one of those things you need to investigate. There are some Medicines, obviously, like if someone were to take cyanide, call 911. You're not going to run for your activated charcoal. You know, a lot of these things are really just common sense. Um, some of the heavy painkillers and um, anxiety, depression drugs, you don't want to use, use this product with them. You want that, oh, syrup of Ipecac that first and that will pull out about 30 percent of the poisons that are in the human system and then you can follow it up with activated charcoal which will neutralize the remaining 70 percent so I ask you guys to please go and study this out if you're gonna put it in your arsenal and I really believe everybody should have it in their arsenal um, let me see this also works for water filtration it does remove um, toxins, solvents, pesticides, and chemicals, but it does not stop viruses, bacteria, or heavy minerals from coming through filtered water. So you should always know that. Like um, beaver fever. Um, you know, if the water is nasty, it would take out a lot of things, but you would still need to boil that water because, again, that is a bacteria, and you would want to kill that that way. 
You can take this externally, you can use it internally, so it is both ways. Externally treats body odor, acne. Um, you can use this on insect bites, poison ivy, poison oak, even snake bites. You know they, they put this stuff up against a cobra bite. Sad for the little creature, they did inject a little animal with it. But the, the little animal was absolutely fine because this even counteracted cobra venom. Pretty astounding stuff. Um, for bites, um, I, I put mine a lot of the time in capsules. And so you would just use one capsule mixed with... Um, with uh, coconut oil, oh my brain, <laughs> and apply it on and then you can reapply it every 30 minutes and that will help take out stings and itching and all that good stuff. Um, with activated charcoal, if you're on a prescription medication, you do not want to ingest this in your body right after taking your meds because it can cause them to become inactive. Again, it pulls things out. So you want to wait at least an hour and a half to two hours after taking your prescription medicines. Um, it is not absorbed by your body, nor is it metabolized. So basically you swallow it, it's grabbing all the harmful stuff and you're just passing it on through. The Some of the things this is good for again goes with the cold and flu season. Diarrhea, foot and mouth disease, um, you can disinfect wounds, like I said, poisonings, overdoses, it eliminates toxins, and it does help uh, wounds heal, skin ulcers, inflammations on your skin, bruises, you're going to use it to make a poultice, and that is just taking one to two tablespoons of it. And with, mixed with just enough water to make a paste, spread it on a warm, wet cloth, apply it over it. Usually you put plastic wrap on top of that just to keep the, the uh, cloth warm. And then you're going to change it out every 6 to 10 hours. Not very hard, and I've done a lot of these things with this. I've had this for a long time, and I've used it for a long time. If you... If you mix it with water to take it internally, I'm not saying in the capsule, I'm saying in its raw state, your water is going to turn black. I had to kind of psych myself up the first time because I didn't have capsules made. And um, I kept telling myself, looks the same as black coffee, looks the same as black coffee. You kind of, you know, I had to talk myself through it. It doesn't have a taste. You're only going to taste the water. But if that's like too much for you, you can mix it in fruit juice, chocolate syrup, it works, you know, honey, and uh, it reaches its uh, where it's having the, the uh, toxins cling to it, one minute, guys, one minute. That's how quickly it works. Um, if you want to do a detox on your body, you can also do a detox on your body to pull out the toxins and, and, and the things we get from the wonderful world we live in. You just do one teaspoon mixed with eight ounces of water. And if you're feeling really sluggish from all this stuff, you can repeat it up to three times a day. If you have the flu or that kind of stuff, the colds and all that, and I do have a little sniffly, but I sleep with my window open with a fan in front of it, and it's in the 30s and 20s even at night, so I'm bringing it on myself, but, you know, girls got to do what girls got to do. But anyway, for flus and colds, you're going to do the same thing, one teaspoon to eight ounces of water, and you can kick that up for four to seven times a day. And then if it's um, something really horrendous, you can, again, it's the same measurement, one teaspoon to eight ounces of water, and you can do that eight to 12 times a day. Um, this stuff is really great. Like, okay, I haven't eaten here in years, but 
like when you go to McDonald's and you get food poisoning, because I did. Or we also have a restaurant that's in my area that everybody calls the food poisoning capital. Um, <laughs> really sad because I have liked the restaurant and other places, but you don't eat at it here because you're going to get food poisoning. It just seems to be how it is. That kind of stuff, come home, treat it immediately. You know, the symptoms aren't going to be as bad if you're on it. That's why I have capsules pre-made so that I don't have to go and, and powder up the activated charcoal. It's already ready to go. And when you're using this, you don't want to take it any for long extended period of time. You want to stop no more than 12 weeks. You know, give your body a break. That's the basics of it. And um, I'm going to get the stuff set up here and I will show you what it looks like. And I will show you in the capsules and do a little more explaining. So give me a minute and I will be back.